This is Mike Mozart, actually Dozart, of the Toy Channel and Jeepers Media on YouTube. We're gonna have lots of fun making all these pretend McDonald's foods, and I'm gonna show you how with the Play-Doh McDonald's restaurant from 2003. And this amazing food maker looks just like a miniature McDonald's restaurant. Ronald is in every single window. I thought Ronald was a clown, but I guess he's Ronald the clone. And on this side of the restaurant is the drive-thru ordering menu board and window, and it's where the extruder goes in to make the shakes the fries, and the ice cream. Oh, my shake cup is empty. Let's take some pink Play-Doh and make some strawberry shakes. You just lift up half of the top of the building of McDonald's. You put the pink Play-Doh in right here and close the roof and push it down hard. And watch as our pink Play-Doh shakes extrude like magic. You really can't extrude the shakes directly into the cup because the cups are too tall. You have to place it into the cup and twirl it around and around inside the cup to fill it up to the top. This is the only way to do it. Mmm, I love McDonald's strawberry shakes. And it looks like my black lab Cocoa Puff likes that strawberry shake too. Roof, roof. Hey guys, would you like some fries with that shake? And now we change our extruding template from the milkshake maker to the french fry maker. Here come those fries. And here's another helpful Play-Doh hint from Mike Dozer. If you extrude Play-Doh and it comes out sort of raggedy and scaly like that, it means it's too dry. But it's very simple to add a little bit more water. We have a little cup of water here, and Mike Mozart always keeps one handy. He dips his fingers in so his fingers get wet, and he just paints it onto the Play-Doh like this. See how the Play-Doh's shiny now? And then you need that little bit of water in, and you keep adding more water slowly, just that way, until it's Perfect. And these Play-Doh McDonald's french fries are so easy and fun to make. Now there's french fries for everybody. Under the other side of the McDonald's roof, it's the secret spot to mold the chicken nuggets, hamburger patties, and buns. Every single one of the blue molds has a space for a chicken nugget, and all we have to do is shut this lid, and we will mold a nugget like that. We just have to remove the excess Play-Doh from around it and make a bunch more. Chicken nuggets for everybody. Hooray! And now we're gonna make some ice cream cones. We have it set on the template for the ice cream, but remember it comes out too low for the cone, sort of like the shake did earlier. We slowly guide it into the cone, twirling it and starting at the bottom of the cone, building it up like a real ice cream cone. Look at that, a perfect little ice cream cone. Let's give it to Cocoa Puff. We've been having so much McDonald's Play-Doh food making fun, that we forgot all about the hamburgers and the buns. You use the other side of the templates you use for the chicken nuggets. And now let's make some pretend McDonald's Play-Doh hamburgers. I've mixed a little bit of red and a little bit of brown Play-Doh together to make them look more realistic. You put the ball right there. And now we're molding our hamburger patty. Oh, look at that, it's perfect. Let's make some buns. I really prefer to put a lighter dough on one side of the mold, which represents the inside of the bread, and then a darker Play-Doh to represent the crust. And when we put these two molds together, it will be very realistic. Now look at that bun we just molded. If you flip it over, it looks a lot more like a real bun that way. And when you're done, you can just mix the colors together because they're both shades of brown. And I think they're lots cooler and more realistic if you add little Play-Doh sesame seeds to the top. Now we have lots of hamburgers and buns. Let's make some toppings for these burgers. Just take a little ball of yellow and a little ball of red, roll them out on a tabletop for mustard and ketchup. Now let's make some lettuce for our burgers. They didn't give us a mold, so I took some dark green, light green, and white, mixed them together in these little balls, and we just flattened them out for lettuce. And now roll out some yellow Play-Doh really flat so we can cut some cheese and just cut out some little squares. And now we have some perfect slices. And now roll out some green Play-Doh, some tan Play-Doh, and some red Play-Doh. Use the end of your rolling pin and you can stamp out onions, pickles, and tomatoes. That was super easy. Ah, uh, now we're ready to make our perfect burger. We start with the bottom bun. Then we put on one of our hamburger patties. And of course you need a slice of cheese. Mmm. Oh, let's put on some lettuce leaves. A nice lettuce leaf would taste really good. And of course we need to add a nice slice of tomato. Oh, and let's put on an onion. Oh, look how perfect that is. But we need some ketchup. Remember how we had to roll out some ketchup? So there's our ketchup and a little bit of mustard would be perfect. And let's top this off with a sesame seed bun. Perfecto. Remember, Play-Doh was fun to play with, but don't eat it. But I made out of dough, so it's okay. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, I bet Cocoa Puff would love to taste some of that. 
Ruff, 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 ruff. And a question for all my fans, what was your favorite Play-Doh set ever? And watch for my upcoming review of the Play-Doh McFlurry Dessert Play Shop. This was one of the hottest toys for Christmas 2000. And also watch for my upcoming review of the McDonald Land Happy Meal Play Shop from 1998. It's lots of McDonald's food fixin' fun. And another upcoming review is the Burger King Whopper Play Set. It's huge. And I'm also gonna be reviewing this Play-Doh Make a Meal Pizza Hut set. Another set based on a fast food restaurant. Please rate this video. Oh, don't forget to favorite it. Oh, and share it with your friends. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, The Toy Channel, for lots more fun Play-Doh videos. And check out all my other Play-Doh videos on The Toy Channel and Jeepers Media on YouTube. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.